we just had our uh, press briefing for new research posters. We had eight of those posters presented by the researchers, um, many of whom were young researchers, which was wonderful to have them give their presentations. It's very important for us to reach out to the public and let them know about the promise of research, what research means to the future and even to the present with regards to treatment. And this is an opportunity to do that. I'm presenting my study about post-traumatic stress disorder on Syrian refugees in Turkey. Uh, we conduct this study in refugee camps and we uh, have face-to-face -face interviews with the refugees. We found that 33.5% of these refugees have PTSD. And we also search for other factors that are related with the PTSD uh, diagnosis. And we found that the female gender and past history of psychiatric disorder and the family history of psychiatric disorders are related with the PTSD diagnosis. We are continuing this study on refugees and we uh, have reached about 10,000 people, 10,000 refugees nowadays and we have some comparing studies. At this time we have only revolving refugee camps and the PTSD prevalences and the factors that are associated with PTSD. I very appreciated that to be a part of this press briefing room, press briefing conference. Uh, and also, uh, it is an opportunity for me to present my study to worldwide. And uh, I thank for the APA for this uh, opportunity. I did this study at a clinic in Providence, Rhode Island, which sees college students from eight universities throughout the state. They all came in for a psychiatric issue, but we found that there was a very high rate of substance use in many of these stu um, students. In fact, 24% of the patients had a cannabis abuse or dependence disorder, and 18% had an alcohol disorder. We then studied the functioning of these patients to see how to see whether the substance disorders were correlated with decreased functioning. And interestingly, we found that both cannabis and alcohol were statistically related to a lower GAF score of approximately 10 points. Another important finding we found is that cannabis is related to a lower functioning in these college students. And given that they have their whole lives ahead of them, um, and that their brains are still developing. I think it's important to target treatment and research at college students and also um, to provide more substance treatment in addition to psychiatric treatment for college students throughout the country. I think it was a wonderful experience to be part of the press briefing. I think um, I heard a lot of great research and it gives me a lot of hope that there's um, not only the research that I'm doing, but that there is a lot of interesting research going on in the psychiatry and that we are um, learning a lot more about future treatments and future ideas and um, how to better diagnose and treat our patients. Looking at who was selected, um, it shows tremendous diversity amongst our researchers. We had young people, um, we had mid-career people, we had people of all different backgrounds, we had people from other countries. It really showed the full diversity of research that's going on right now in our field. And that's what we need. We need to have a number of different approaches so that we can understand the brain and understand the illnesses that are associated with the brain so we can better treat our patients.